Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to enable the functionality to create automatic backups of the registry on Windows 11, but these instructions will also work on Windows 10. In previous version, the operating system included the ability to automatically create a copy of the entire registry inside of the reg back system folder every time the computer started normally. However, to help reduce storage usage, Microsoft removed this functionality with the release of the April 2018 update. As a result, if you wanted to recover the system after a corrupted registry hive, you would have find that the reg back folder included the hives, but every one of those files were zero kilobytes. However, Windows 10 and Windows 11 includes a registry key that allows you to re-enable this feature so you can continue creating backups automatically of the registry. However, it's important to note that in order to re-enable this feature requires to modify the registry itself. And you know that that can be a risky process if you don't do it correctly because it can cause issues to the computer. So it is recommended to create a full backup before for proceeding if you want to go through the steps. Okay, let's dive into the steps to enable automatic backups for the registry on Windows 11 and for Windows 10. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, open Star and look for the registry. Then we're gonna need to go to HK Local Machine, System, Current Control Set, Control, Session Manager, Configuration Manager. Now, inside of the Configuration Manager key, we're gonna right click on it and we're going to create a new Deep Word 32 bit value. And we're gonna name it Enable Periodic Backup All Together, as you see it on the screen, and press Enter. Now, right click on it and select the Modify option. And then we're going to change the value from zero to one and then click OK. Now, to apply these changes, we need to restart the computer. Now, the ability to create backups to the rec back folder, it's enabled, but the system won't create backups automatically just yet. So next, we need to open Start and look for Task Scheduler. Then from here, we're going to navigate to Microsoft Windows, and then we're going to open the registry folder. In here, we're going to see that we have the reg idle backup, and this used to be the task that would run automatically to create the backup of the registry. We can still right click on it and select the run option, and this will actually create a backup of the entire registry. We can actually check by opening start and looking for the run command. And then we need to go to Windows System 32, config break back. And then if we change the view to details, we can see the time and date, which is today. And the backup has been created for each type of the registry. Now, if we wanna make this process automatic, we're going to have to create a secondary task to run this actual task. We have different ways to create a task on the task scheduler, but we're going to take the easy route. So we're just going to right click on the registry right here, and then we're going to select to create a basic task. We're going to name our task. In this case, I'm just going to call it run my rec idle backup, then click next. Now you can choose when the task should run to run the task that will back up the registry. However, I usually recommend to select the daily option to create a new backup every day. For this case, I'm going to choose daily and then click next. Now select the time when you know that you will actively be using the computer. Just going to set it to 7 a.m. You don't need to choose this option, but if that is something you need, might as well check it and then click next. We are going to start a program, so select that and click next. Now in here, we're going to start the task scheduler with this command, and then we're going to run it with this argument and then click next. Check this option to open the properties for the task and click the finish button. Now we need to change the security options and then the first thing that we have to do is just to click the change user or group button, then click on advanced, find now, and then select the system group and click OK. Click OK one more time. And then we're going to check the run with the highest privileges option. 
Now, it's not required to change the different options because we already configured when we went through the wizard for the basic task. However, if you want to change the power settings, you can do it right here. And a lot of times people might want to clear this option. So you can run the task if the computer is running on battery or when it's plugged in into the outlet. And then just click OK. And now every day in this particular case, the system is going to run the task that we created, which will run this task right here. And that will actually create an automatic backup of the entire registry on your computer. So let's see if we can test this out. And what I'm going to do is to edit the schedule. And I'm going to set it to 4.30 PM. And let's just wait a minute. Remember the timestamp is 421. So let's see what happens at 430. As you can see, the timestamp has already updated and the system created a backup of the entire registry. And now we can tell that this process is working. And that's it. Those are the steps to enable the automatic backup system for the registry on Windows 11 and for Windows 10. If you prefer, I also have the written instructions. You just need to follow this link right here that appears on the screen. And you can follow also this other link and that will help you out on how to use this backup to actually recover your computer if something happens to the registry and you can start the computer. Let me know in the comments what you think about Microsoft actually disabling this useful feature on Windows. And remember to like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.